Hey guys, what's up? I am back with another video at last. <laughs> sorry for going MIA again. Anyways, hi, welcome back. I am sorry for leaving again. So on Instagram, I asked you guys what you wanted to see next as far as YouTube videos go, and a ton of people said they wanted to see a summer haul. So I gathered up all the items that I've been obsessing over this summer, and I brought them here to you. I just wanted to give a quick heads up that all of these items are things that I've been using, um, so I know that they're my favorites, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to show you anything just because like, oh, I just got it and I just like, want to show you new items I got for the summer. No, all these things are actually items that I use every single day, if not very often, with the exception of one item, which I'm going to get out of the way in the beginning so that I can show it to you, you'll understand after. Okay, so before I show that item, I do want to introduce my first Obsession, which obviously is healthy kombucha hashtag not sponsored hashtag please sponsor me But I don't have enough followers. No, I seriously love healthy kombucha. I know that Kavita is a really popular brand and GTS is a really popular brand as well, but I have an absolute love for this. I actually just posted it on my Instagram today um, But yeah, the plain flavor and then the pomegranate flavor are oh, my favorite so yeah, I just had to show that to you before I finish the rest of the haul. Also, can you please ignore the two pimples that are on my face because it's not that cute, but like, and my nails aren't painted. Okay, anyways, let's get into it. So the first item I'm gonna show you is the item that I said I was like, there's an exception. This is the exception. So this is a stunning queen, so cute, um, little, what are these called again? Succulent, that's the word. So this is a little succulent I got from Home Goods. I'm obviously obsessed with succulents just like the rest of the world, but I love it and I actually bought it for my future apartment. Moving on to the next like more lifestyle home item, it's my oil diffuser. So I have talked about this on my private stories if you're on those. If not, you can feel free to add me on Snapchat at Carly Weinstein. But basically how this oil diffuser works is in the back, there's a little like paper. You can replace them, they're disposable. Um, I have a ton of different scents. I can show you a few of them that I brought out here. I literally have a shit ton, but um, for example, lavender, which is like the first scent I ever got. Um, eucalyptus, which is amazing. Chai, orange. Um, head aid, which is like a mixture of a bunch of things for headaches. Um, but yeah, I'm obsessed with my oil diffuser because aside from helping with like sleep um, and like all the benefits that they give, it just smells really nice and gives your room a really nice vibe. I don't know if you can really see what it's doing right now that well because it's kind of bright in here, but it changes colors, which is really fun as well. Okay, moving on to the next item. Now we're gonna get into the beauty stuff. So as far as beauty goes, I have a lot of items. So I'm just gonna gather them real quick because there is quite a lot. I feel like these are like the main summer thing for me. I don't know. I, I get really obsessed with beauty items, especially in summer because I love going for like natural looks. Okay, so I am gonna start out with the thing I use, the things I use the most. So first we're gonna go with the lash food. Lash Food is basically an all-natural lash enhancer. Um, the reason that I use this specific brand is it's because is because it is the only brand I know that doesn't react badly with blue eyes. I know Latisse can turn blue eyes different colors, change the pigment. Um, I tried out Grande Lash and it turned my eyes bright red. So this is the only brand that works for me. So if you have sensitive eyes or if you have blue eyes, Lash food is the bomb and it does make a difference. Like I think it takes about three or four weeks, but I did notice that my lashes were getting longer and thicker, which is, who doesn't want that? All right, so next we are going to this beautiful milk makeup water stick. I've been using this for a long ass time, so I know that it works great. Basically, when I have no makeup on, you, I think you could put it with makeup too, but I like to use it with no makeup. Um, it just cleanses your face. It's such a nice, like, refreshing feel after a long day. Um, and I don't really know, like, specifically what it does, but one thing I do try to use it for is the underneath of my eyes. Um, I do get a little bit puffy under there and a little bit of, like, dark circles. So this is one thing that I do use for that. So yeah, that stuff is awesome. Um, the next things I'm going to show you are both Glossier items. 
So the first one is the boy brow. You've probably heard of this if you've been like on Instagram or like in the millennial Gen Z realm of things because I feel like they're always advertising this on my Instagram. Maybe it's just me. Um, but yeah, this is really super easy because the brush is tiny. You just wipe it on your brows. This is more of like an on the go thing as opposed to a stick where you're sitting there kind of like drawing in your brows. And I like this because again, it is more of like a natural um, substance if that made any sense. And then the other Glossier item that I'm obsessed with and that I'm actually wearing right now is this like holographic highlight. So I think that's what it's called. It's called ho Halos Holoscope, I think. So basically you can just put it on your cheeks. It comes out so nicely. I'm wearing it now again, so that's why I'm like kind of showing you what it looks like on. But it comes in this little stick. I love a good um, illuminating stick because I think it's so easy for on the go. And it gives you like a wet look, which is also such a cute look for summer. All right, moving on. Next is another favorite, favorite product of mine. This is the Laneige. Okay, so if, you are, if you've ever heard of the Laneige like lip mask that comes in the little container, this is a chapstick version of it, I would say. So I literally don't notice any difference between the little container and this but this is great for on the go, which is why I use it. So I can put it on. I don't know if you'll really be able to see what it looks like. Oh, dog on me. Um, but yeah, it literally lasts for so long. Like you don't feel it leaving your lips. Um, this color or this shade at slash flavor is berry, but I think it comes in two other flavors. So yeah, Laneige makes the best items. I wish I could buy their entire line of everything. Um, but yeah, this is definitely a favorite of mine. Okay, next, getting into the Jeffree Star items. So I recently purchased two Jeffree Star items. Funny enough, I've been following Jeffree Star for the longest time and I've never purchased any of his stuff. So I'm like a fake Jeffree Star lover, basically. Um, but I have been using my sister's products that she's gotten from him for a long time, so like I've used it, I've just never bought my own. But it was finally time, so I bought the Mini Breaker Palette and I bought a lipstick. So first showing you the Mini Breaker Palette. It is stunning, like, are you kidding me? The shades are insane. I want to swatch them, but I don't want to like have it on me the whole day, so I'm not going to. Um, but I'll give you a closer look if you can, if it will focus. Yeah, I'm literally obsessed with this. So with this palette, I know the shades are like a little crazy, but funny enough, I'm so pale and they actually look pretty good on me, which is like shocking because usually I'm more of like the natural shade person. Um, but my two favorite shades by far are Slice and Oral. Getting a little frisky. <laughs> he loves to give a good shade name. And then I would love to talk about this lipstick by Jeffree Star as well. So I'm not going to put this on because I just showed you the Laneige stuff, but this is this beautiful gold um, lip shade. I think it's so cool because I, I really want to swatch this, honestly. Like, can you see that? Okay, so I'm not sure how well you just saw that, but this is amazing because you can wear it on its own, but you can also put it over another color, like a pink, and it comes out with like a pinky gold. So whatever color you put under it, it just gives like a gold tint and some sparkle. Um, so you really can't go wrong with this shade. So yeah, obsessed with that. Oh my God, I literally forgot about this. Okay, backing up to like more skincare items, watermelon glow, re glow juice, glow recipe, whatever. Oh my God, my freaking obsession. So this stuff, I'm not sure how much it retails for, but this bottle lasts really long. Like I've had this for months and it's not even down to halfway. So definitely a great investment. And I love that it's gel based. I think that's where I fall in love with it because it is a gel based moisturizer. Um, so highly recommend if your skin is like a combination skin or an oily skin to use a gel based moisturizer. It's just super refreshing and doesn't make your skin break out or oily or anything. So yeah, watermelon glow juice, amazing. And also smells like watermelon. So like, how could you go wrong? Okay, so next up on the agenda is this amazing natural lust palette. This is by Too Faced. So I'm going to show you the inside and reveal it. 
So yeah, these colors are all so amazing. Um, since I am natural, as I said before, they go really well with my skin tone, but also there's some darker colors in here for anyone that's a little darker or likes to use a more um, intensified shade. So there's kind of something for everyone. The one thing I will warn about is that some of the glittery, like the more um, glittery shades, I don't know what to call that, like whatever, um, the more shimmery shades, they do have a lot of fallout. But if you use your finger, you won't find as much. So I just suggest if you do get this palette to use your finger for the most part. Um, and then you can use brushes for the matte shades. Okay, so now moving in to fashion and like accessory items. So first, this is kind of a silly item, but I think that everyone needs like one white t-shirt they're obsessed with. So this is literally dirty because I wear it every day, but I wasn't really, I didn't know that this was gonna be in the video. So this is my Good American white v-neck tee i'm obsessed with it because of the material um but like the way it fits i don't know it just looks so cute on so i get my good american shirts from my local bloomingdale's um i think you can order them online but i'm really not sure where else they sell them so if you have a bloomingdale's near you they definitely will have it there next we are going into this leaf yellow stunning queen um, little spaghetti strap tank that I have. I wear this all the time. I've been getting so much use out of this this summer. It does have a built-in bra, but unfortunately you do have to wear a bra with it unless you have no nipples. <laughs> um, yeah, this definitely is a really cute shirt to wear for either like a casual occasion, but you can also dress it up. Um, I'm really just obsessed with the color, I think, and weirdly, usually I'm a small, but I got the medium and it does fit. So. This brand is Leaf, it's from Nordstrom. Um, so if you're like around my size, I suggest a small or a medium, you can kind of go either way. Oh, and then I forgot to say, this Good American is it a three. I didn't know, like the sizing is like a little weird. I just got a three because it majorly shrinks. So I'm just warning you, I would hand wash it. And then next is a stunning bathing suit. Can I say stunning more? Like, let me know. Um, this is an Unreal bathing suit by L Space. I love their suits. So I don't know if you can tell, but it's ribbed. It's like a ribbed material and it's off-white. So the bottoms look like this. And then the top, if I can get it undone, is a really cute like razor back and then has like this little bow in the front. Um, again, it's like this ribbed material. And then the little keyhole with the tie. So I think that's super cute. And aside from being really trendy, it's also just a super comfortable suit. I feel very comfortable walking around in it. Um, and I don't feel like I'm being too exposed yet. It's still like kind of sexy. So that's kind of more my style. Um, I don't feel comfortable exposing my ass to the world. But if you do, all power to you, seriously. So yeah, that is why I'm obsessed with this bathing suit. Okay, so I'm showing you two pairs of shoes I'm obsessed with. First, it's these Dolce Vita ones. Um, they have like this little cute snakeskin pattern, um, the little like toe hole, which is so cute. And they just like look amazing on. They're super casual, but like you can also just wear them out to dinner with boyfriend jeans on a really casual night. So they look cute with everything. They're trendy, um, but yeah, I don't know why I'm obsessed with them, honestly. They're just like comfortable and they look, they kind of make everything look a little bit classier. And then my favorite shoe of all time, I got these, I think right before spring break. I went to Miami for spring break. So yeah, it was right before Miami. These amazing shoes by Shoots. This is a shoe brand I've literally been obsessing over lately. I love these because they're super high, but they don't have like the big dip. So I have like really bad knee problems. And when I wear heels that are like that, it's not a pretty sight. I'm like falling all over the place, not cute. So yeah, I always look for a shoe with the biggest platform I can find while still being kind of flat on top. So these are amazingly comfortable and so cute. And I think they're either $200 or around there. So a pretty solid price for this kind of shoe. Okay, and lastly, we're moving on to accessories. So first I'm gonna go to the gold accessories because I'm definitely obsessing over gold this summer. So. First of all, this is a just simple gold chain. Um, it looks super cute. I don't know if like you can really tell, but this is a gold chain literally from Forever, Tw Forever 21. I highly recommend just going in there and picking out some gold jewelry because it's so cheap. You can literally get like a set of three for I think like $5 or like something like that. Like it's crazy. You can get so much stuff. So yeah, this came in a set from there and I absolutely love it. It goes with everything. Then next I have this necklace. 
Now I'm gonna link it below, but on the spot right now, I can't remember if it's from Brandy or Urban, but I'm like 99% sure it's Brandy Melville. Um, so yeah, I love the little coins. I think the coins are such like an in thing right now, but also it's not too crazy if you're not super out there with your jewelry. So I absolutely love this necklace. Goes with everything. And again, like the gold trend, so cute. Lastly for the golds, I've actually had this since last summer, but really started getting more use out of it this summer. So this is just a gold clip from Urban Outfitters and I love, I'll show you if I can do it right now, but basically I've just been like taking my front pieces. This could look so awful because I have no mirror right now, but like I've been taking these pieces. I'm trying to look in the viewfinder if you're wondering like what I'm doing. I pull them back, I put the clip in. So like, yeah, I don't know what this looks like. Again, like this could be so bad, but yeah, this is kind of the look. I, I love how it is, I think it's so cute. And instead of doing a top knot with like an ugly scrunchie in your hair, you can have like a cute little gold clip. So yeah, I think that's a super cute look and the clip always looks cute. So I got a lot of hate from friends about these. <laughs> clips, but I, I'm sorry. I love them. They're so cute. So I wore, I don't know if you saw my Instagram recently, but I wore these on like one side of my hair. I'll here, put a picture right here. Um, but I think they look so cute. You can either wear them like on one side, you can do one on each. I don't know. I think they look adorable. It's either your style or it's not. You love it or you hate it. But um, I tried it and I happen to love it. So yeah, these are definitely summer favorites and summer staples for sure. And last but not least, in the summer haul, I have my absolute favorite pair of sunglasses that I just recently bought. These are by Crew. I think they're so cute. They protect me from the sun, like, thousand percent. This is what they look like on. They might be crooked right now. I can't see out of them. They're dirty. But yeah, I, I think they look adorable. Like, they're so cute. They have these little gold details on the side. They're, like, kind of tinted or, like, ombre almost, but I don't know. I love them. I wear them every day. I think they look so classy. They were a little on the pricey side, but like not terrible. I think like maybe under 300. So yeah, I'll link those below, but I love them. And I think that is about it. So this was all of my summer favorites as far as I remembered at least. If I remember anything else, I will post it on my Instagram after I post this video or later on. Um, this week so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you haven't yet make sure you give this video a thumbs up and click that subscribe button down below and feel free to leave a comment telling me what your favorite summer item is or your summer must have because i'm dying to know and of course i'm always dying to try new products so again thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next video